Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to hook up anything that uses an audio jack or a headphone audio jack to your HDTV. As you probably know, um, most HDTVs that are over 32 inches or 32 inches stop putting on the headphone jack onto them. So it makes it hard to hook up headphone jack or headphones or computer speakers like I did to them. So, I'm going to make this video to make the process of hooking up your headphones a little easier than it was for me. Okay, for the way I hooked it up, you're going to need to make sure that your TV has an audio digital out. Um, it may say in parentheses coaxial. Uh, it's the same thing for what we're doing. Um, coaxial can also be a TV uh, input right there, but as long as it has the digital audio out right here, this red hookup, then that's what we want. It'll probably have a uh, orange, yellow, or maybe red color in it, um, but it doesn't matter. As long as it says that, it'll work. Um, so what you do is you take a digital audio cord and you'll run it to this box we have right here. Uh, this is what's actually going to convert the signal from digital to an analog uh, signal, which is what your headphones use. So that's why you need to convert it. Um, this cord is just the power cord. Um, you need to plug this in because it takes power to convert the signal. And then you plug in the analog uh, cord to it and it'll convert the analog signal into a headphone jack which you can use to plug in your headphones or uh, computer speakers which I use it for um, and really anything else that has a headphone jack on it if your headphones doesn't have a volume control on it it will just play at one volume um, but I did ch test it with a pair of headphones I have, and it played at a normal sound. It wasn't super loud or super quiet, so it should still work, even if you don't have a volume control on that. Um, so that's really it. I'll put a link in the or a few links in the description for the different parts. That's all there really is to know. Um, I'll go ahead and show you. Uh, with my TV, um, see my speakers have a volume thing right on the side, so that's how I can adjust the volume however loud or quiet I want it. I wanted to go ahead and show you um, the sound, just you know, to show you that it's not like clicky or you know it's not fuzzy at all. So here we go. Alright, and that's it. Um, this is the analog to digital audio converter. Um, I couldn't find the exact one that I had gotten from Amazon, uh, but this is the same exact one except for it has a little bit different shell. It has all the same hookups and plugins as mine. Um, it'll do the same job just as good. And this here is the analog to headphone converter. That you saw me, uh, you just plug those two right into um, these two right here, and then your headphones into the end of that. Um, and then this is I have two, I'll put two different links in for the digital cables. Um, one's one and a half feet, and the other is six feet. I figured I'd put them both in because if you need the length then you should go ahead and get this one but if you only if you don't need it to be that long if the converter is going to be right behind your TV then you only need the one and a half foot cable so it's a little cheaper so I figured you might want to just get that one to save 
about half the money. Um, yep, I'll put all these links in the description. Um, I hope you liked this video, and I hope this helped anyone trying to hook up their headphones or computer speakers to their TV. Thanks for watching.